T minus 20. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, we have it. We have launch abort. Proceeding to the abort section. BC countdown net. Ahead. Verify launch idle sequence is aborted and the flight computer is not in startup. Launch idle sequence is aborted. GC reactivate fire exit present on the launch mount. Copy. OSM verify ready to safety FTS and report. Ready to safety FTS. OSM set launch enable to inhibit. Inhibit. GC verify stage one and stage two locks and RP interface fill manifolds are vented. Verified. Verify water secured, water and dailies ring pressurization valves, Ver verify rainbird secured, and verify launch mount and hold down coolings are secured. All secured. Verify TVC tank is vented. Verified. Secure TTAP for step 64.9. In work. OSM verify nominal FTS state and report. OIs are in safe state, break orders are disarmed, FTS is on external power, FTS state is safe. Copy, standing by until the strong back raise is complete. I'll see you ready for sh raising strong back. Ready. Webcast headquarters in Hawthorne, as you saw, we were counting down. We got to just about T0 when we had an abort in the ignition sequence. Now, prior to the abort, the countdown was going well. The range did go green. They were clear within just the last couple of minutes of launch. And so we were attempting to hit a window of 21 minutes after the hour. That was roughly 34 minutes after the planned launch time earlier this evening. Now, currently, the Falcon GC, 9 turn, is turn safe. Throwback cooling on. This is a sequence that we've gone through, the safing sequence that you heard part of on the countdown net. We use many times in Texas when we test the first stage and the second stage. Also at Cape Canaveral when we static fire the first stage a few days before launch. So that sequence is not unusual. It's well checked out. The team is working through it right now, taking pressure off of the tanks, making sure that the engines are purged. Uh, that there's no fires, nothing like that on the launch pad. That'll give them a chance to first safe the vehicle and then take a look at what the cause of the abort was. We have not heard the cause of the abort yet. Obviously, we were in the ignition sequence, so it'll be related undoubtedly to some aspect of that startup sequence when the flight computer commands the nine engines to start and then checks the configuration of those engines, make sure that all the valves are closed, the valves are open, whatever the requirement is, that we're at the right pressures before the flight computer tells the ground to release it. So that sequence ran as intended. We got a problem. The flight computer declared an abort. We shut down the engines and the Falcon 9 is safe right now. We're going to go back to the launch pad for just a minute and then I'll come back and give an update. But obviously for this evening, that is going to be the only launch attempt, but we're waiting to just get that final official word that we're going to be scrubbed for the night. But we'll go back to countdown one now, and then I'll come back with a final update, undoubtedly, for the rest of the evening.
Strongback Rays auto is complete. AVI, are you still charging uh, batteries? Yes, uh, batteries are on trickle charge still. All right, stand by there. AVI, instruct the VC to cycle power on transmitters to keep the temperatures within launch limits. Copy, we'll go. Okay, the vehicle is safe. Please stand by while data is reviewed and the path forward is determined.